Is Herod doing something with John? No. No. She's in the court of Herod. Yeah. Obviously. Yeah. And so she's most likely the witness to John's death. Wow. And that whole scene. You know, it's kind of like, well, how do we know what happened? Wow. How do we know? I never, I never put that together. Yeah. I mean, and there could yeah. have been other witnesses, but, but we know, yeah. like, she ends up being at the tomb. Mm -hmm. And so yeah. we know she was wow. a disciple and would have been communicating with, mm -hmm. you know, the early apostles. Wow. I never, yeah, I never thought that, like, you know, I had to get the stories from and compile the stories right. from somewhere. But yeah, I mean, mm -hmm. she was most likely there. Right. Oh, that makes it even like heavier for some mm -hmm. reason. Yeah, because the Herodian court, these are all Jewish people. Yeah. This isn't Rome. Right. 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 So she's a part of, mm -hmm. and her husband here, mm -hmm. this is the, it's kind of like a kangaroo yeah. Jewish right. court. Ruling party, right? King Herod. Mm -hmm. I just want us to have a good time. I think he looks like he's related to Will Ferrell. <gasps> That's it. <laughs> I was wondering why he looked familiar. Right. It's like Will Ferrell's older brother. Yeah. You know? uh, <laughs> Ask of me anything you wish for. And I will give it to you. This Herod here is Herod Antipas, mm -hmm. and he's actually Herod the Great's son. And his relationship to Rome is he's the technically the tetrarch okay. over the Galilee mm -hmm. and Perea. Okay. And Perea is east of the Jordan River and the Dead Sea. Mm. And Machaerus, which is here where uh, John is imprisoned, mm. is on the east side of the Dead Sea. Hmm. And it's one of the fortresses that Herod had built, Herod the Great had built. Mm -hmm. uh, one of these kind of summer fortresses, kind of okay. like Masada. Which is on Herodium. the west side, right? Yeah, Masada's okay. on the west side. Yeah. Uh, this is actually like the eastern front, and it was very fortified, Machaerus. Hmm. Okay. So it, the only other fort that's fortified more than this was Jerusalem. Oh, wow. Uh, so this is kind of like the eastern front, if you will. Okay. Uh, Which is modern day Jordan on exactly. that side. Okay. Right. So so here's a rendition of what Machaerus probably looked like Whoa. by the archaeologist who excavated here. Huh. You can tell it's right on... Kind of the side of the, the yeah. cliff there. Wow. It's and like one so, way in, one way out type of place. Yeah, huh. so it's a it's a fortified mm -hmm. eastern front that was really protecting Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. See the lower part of the fortress there, which mm -hmm. is where they think John was imprisoned. Wow. And then here's another recreation huh. of kind of like the main palace of Machaerus. Wow. And they actually have a hall and a royal courtyard here, mm -hmm. uh, and even where, you know, most likely this uh, infamous wow. Salome dance actually happened. Wow. So this is a very legitimate archaeological, hmm. um, you know, kind of evidence of yeah. the accuracy of Scripture Wow, uh, is what they found at Machaerus. Wow, that's really cool to see. Where it's at, I mean, I've, I've been to the Dead Sea, so I've been, like, mm -hmm. you can see it, you can feel right. it, and... And I don't know, like you're saying, it's, there's there's archaeological evidence that this is where this took place, right? right? And so that that's just right. that just makes it so much yeah. fun. And it doesn't say Macaris in scripture, which right. is one of the reasons why you don't have that yeah. visual. Yeah. But Josephus, the <clears throat> first century Jewish historian, mm -hmm. he's the one that actually mentions it. He's also the one that gives. Uh, the, the name to Salome okay, as the it. dancer, and he also mentions that John was imprisoned in Machaerus okay. and that he was uh, executed. Wow. So, uh, and then the archaeology, you know, is newer mm -hmm. discoveries mm -hmm. that have taken place, and so that's why many people haven't seen these uh, perspectives yeah. of what it could have been like, yeah. and then also that they don't know about the name because they haven't read Josephus, right? Super fun. I mean, hashtag Bible nerd. Like, yeah, that's right. That's, exactly. This is like, <laughs> that's good. This is the fun stuff. <laughs> Do it one more time. The bow? 
The whole dance. From the top. My queen. You heard me. It must be perfect. But Salome is an interesting person. So mm -hmm. her name is not mentioned in the Bible, but most people know her name. Huh. And she's mentioned by Josephus by name. Huh. She's actually from Herodias's first marriage. Right. To Herod Agrippus's brother mm -hmm. Philip. Philip. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so that means uh -huh. it's, it's Josephus is correct yeah. that Salome is actually Herod's niece niece uh -huh. or half niece or something you know at least like, yeah a niece sort of right. re, sort of relative yeah and definitely his wife's daughter uh huh which yeah. is which so is, it's his niece and his daughter which is creepy weird I mean, it's just the whole thing is just kind of messed up it ain't right yeah that ain't right yeah my queen I know the baptized I insulted you, but they are... Insulted. Insulted. Do you believe my marriage to the king is wicked? Of course not. I... Do you believe I should be returned to that pauper Philip in his meager Judean territory? And give up my marriage to Antipas, who rules the entire region? No, my queen. Why not? Perhaps I should just ignore this little insult and allow for the entire region to publicly rebuke all of my decisions? I apologize, my queen. I would work with Salome right away. So Herodias here is obviously offended by John calling her out for her sin. Right. Basically. Yeah. yeah. Uh, which, but, which happens when people are in sin. You're right. They're not usually <laughs> like, oh, thank you so much. Yeah. You know? Uh, at least people that don't love right, God. Right. This is no minor manner. This is a, actually a big deal hmm. historically. Hmm. So she ends up Right, divorcing Philip, yeah, and then uh, Herod divorces his wife as mm -hmm. well, right? Who was a Nabataean princess. Oh, okay, oh, I didn't know that. Okay, so this is so Petra is just in this region mm -hmm. as well, mm -hmm. uh, east of here is the Nabataean area, okay, and so when he divorces her for Herodias, her father. Mm -hmm who was like the Nabataean, mm -hmm. you know, king. Yeah. He's not real happy about I'm that. I'm sure, yeah. And it leads to a war Whoa. with Herod Antipas. Whoa. And he gets absolutely defeated and shamed hmm. by the Nabataean king Aretas. Really? So this is no, like, small minor event. No. This actually, this whole thing leads to a regional war where Herod ends up looking like an idiot. Well, I didn't know any of that. Yeah. That is so interesting. It's like better than a, you know, soap opera. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, it's such a soap opera right. happening at like the highest level yeah. here that leads to war. I mean, the war is wow. because of <clears throat> sexual immorality. Exactly. Right? Yeah, breaking the Lord's commands and yeah. sexual immorality. Wow. Yeah. Wow, I had no idea. If you like our videos, become a Grafted Ambassador to help us make more videos and you'll get our course for free. You can hang out with us on Zoom every month and you'll even get a free hat. Come on, click on the link in the description below. <clears throat> <clears throat> oh! I didn't touch it. <laughs>